the when we when we launched uh, one of our products, we did a, uh, a a whole interview session where we did hour long interviews with all of the top uh, online marketers, uh, including John Reese and uh, Yaro Starak and uh, Frank Kern, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, one of the questions that we thought was the most interesting uh, is we asked them if you could start from the beginning, you know, from scratch, hadn't made a dollar online. Uh, what would you do differently? And literally every single one of the people that we interviewed uh, of our, our top partners, uh, every single one of them said the same thing, and that was that they would start an email list sooner. And we really, you know, at the time, to be honest, we really didn't understand the, the depth uh, of that statement, and uh, we didn't really understand fully why everyone was saying that. And then, uh, you know, let's, let's take one step back here. Uh, from August 2007 uh, to 2009, uh, we were pretty much a completely service-based company. So uh, what we did was create custom blogs and custom sites uh, for individuals and companies, uh, like I said. Uh, so at this time, when we're doing all these interviews, we're getting ready to launch our first uh, product. And what that is, uh, is called Affiliate Team. Some of you guys may have heard of it, and essentially it allows uh, us and affiliate marketers to create landing pages using WordPress because WordPress is our as our platform of choice and uh, and during that time when we actually launched uh, affiliate theme we actually converted on our email list at 10 percent um, and if some of you guys uh, do PPC marketing uh, or direct response marketing at all uh, 10 percent is a crazy huge number most of the time uh, when people do campaigns they're they're really happy you know with the one to three uh, percent conversion and when I say conversion I mean people who have been exposed to that uh, actually purchase the product that you are selling so uh, on our own email list which was very small at the time we converted at 10 percent so 10 percent of the people who are on our email list actually physically purchased our product and uh, and that was phenomenal for us at the time. We really didn't understand why all these top internet marketers were telling us build your list, build your list, build your list. And uh, and then once we launched our own product, we really really uh, understood what they were talking about. So uh, that's what the first section of my presentation is going to be about is uh, is, is setting up uh, squeeze pages to help you build your email list okay so uh, you know nothing as I mentioned nothing can replace a well-managed email list and uh, and that means you know uh, not just sending out your email list uh, ads or, or affiliate links or anything like that it's, it's a it's a well-managed list you uh, you provide great customer service to them you give them free content uh, valuable content and uh, and you appreciate them uh, you know, keep in mind that those people who have actually opted into your email list are giving you permission to send them information. So, uh, especially this is true with a double opt-in email system, such as uh, if you use the email marketing software Aweber, uh, which what which is what we use and we recommend. Uh, I'm sure uh, Mark is is really familiar with it. And uh, so those people are asking for more information. Um, so let me show you exactly what a uh, what a squeeze page actually is. So uh, right here in front of you, that little graphic on the screen, uh, that's a, that's a mini squeeze page. Okay, so you have uh, it basically allows you to collect an email uh, in exchange for something usually free. So uh, right here, that's just a, a little snippet of one of the squeeze pages that we've used uh, to promote one of our eBooks, which is called Squeeze Pages 101. And uh, all it does is it asks you to put in your email list and click the button, and then uh, and then you would get the free uh, eBook essentially. And uh, in return, we would get your collect your email, but you have to actually click in twice. Okay, so you have to actually double opt in, which means that you not only click on that button, but then you go to your email address and then you collect a uh, uh, you actually click on a button that says yes indeed I do want to receive uh, the free ebook as well as other information from unique blog designs so uh, as an email participant uh, of unique blog designs you are essentially a, uh, a lead or a customer that has not yet purchased so uh, we treat our customers extremely extremely well because we know how valuable they truly can be 
So uh, let's get into uh, squeeze pages just a little bit more to help you guys figure out uh, how to create them and uh, and how to make them look look great. So uh, for effective uh, squeeze pages, uh, really you should only have uh, an email collection field. That you can do some split testing and see if uh, if by allowing you to put in their email uh, and their name, if that works better for you because of the way that you market to them specifically. Uh, the rule here really is to is to make the um, the barrier to entry as low as possible. So, uh, and what I mean by that is, if they only have to put in their email address, most likely it's going to be a lot easier for them to just put that in and then be able to click send, uh, and then they're in the system. So, uh, if you have their name there, um, it's not that big of a deal. But, but any other field besides the email address can uh, lower your opt-in rate. So, just consider that. Uh, the a, an effective squeeze page also consists of a small uh, area of sales copy, usually 200 words or less. Uh, the headline in in any sort of marketing can be the online marketing. I'm sorry, can be the number one thing that attracts people or uh, makes people bounce off the page. So, an, a catchy, effective headline is uh, is extremely necessary. Uh, complimentary images and or videos uh, are really popular and uh, the more enticing the video or more enticing the, the images, uh, again, the more likely that someone is actually going to opt into your email list. Another thing to keep in mind when you're building squeeze pages is to be uh, very conscious of how many outbound links there are. So if there's lots of links and lots of navigation and lots of other things going on on the page, it's really going to take away from people opting into your into your email list or actually using the squeeze page. So uh, one thing to keep in mind is just to make sure that you limit uh, or eliminate all of the other navigation links or anything surrounding that actual um, that actual squeeze element essentially. Uh, and again, this just sort of uh, this just sort of goes with the the squeeze page is go with a simple design. Don't make it too crazy. You're really trying to attract the eye of the visitor on your squeeze page to the actual opt-in area. Okay. So um, I'm going to go through just a couple other things, uh, the actual elements of a squeeze page. So uh, here's here's a, a squeeze page that we have on on our site. Um, and uh, you can see where what the catchy headline would look like. Okay, so a catchy headline at the top. Then there's your sales copy, just to clarify, and then your opt-in uh, email collection area, and then of course your images. Or in this this case, we've actually used a video, and uh, I would strongly recommend anybody creating uh, squeeze pages. Uh, I would I would recommend that they're that they're creating them using videos. Videos uh, show to be much more effective in most cases uh, than just stagnant images. So keep that in mind as well. So as soon as we uh, actually used a, uh, uh, a squeeze page on our homepage, uniquebloggedesigns.com, our homepage, we actually saw an increase of uh, uh, emails of 80%. So we went from uh, collecting just a couple emails a day because they were seeing on some page on our site uh, the free ebook to um, you know, to dramatically jump that up almost a hundred percent, um, eighty percent to be exact, uh, where people were opting in just because we changed our homepage to a squeeze page format. So, uh, one thing just to keep in mind, I want to I want to really drill this home: uh, use squeeze pages effectively, and you will create a larger email address. And then it's up to you to effectively use that email address. So uh, after we created our first product, uh, we actually created, an, because we recognized how important it was for people to be collecting email addresses, we created a product called Squeeze Theme. And uh, Squeeze Theme is a WordPress theme, uh, and it allows you to easily create squeeze